High above the arid deserts of California, the vast expanse of sky was interrupted by two agile Berkut 540 jets. Inside, two fighter pilots embarked on an experimental venture that would blend the real and virtual worlds. Their mission? Engage with a ghostly refueling aircraft, its outline illuminated by augmented reality AR technology. It's not just the digital enthusiasts of Silicon Valley that are captivated by the potential of the metaverse. The military has joined the fray, venturing deep into this virtual arena. Their stakes are different and arguably higher. Where tech moguls see economic gains and futuristic lifestyles, defense specialists see advanced training modules and strategic applications. At its core, the metaverse thrives on augmented and virtual reality, 3D simulations enriched by artificial intelligence and head-mounted displays. While Mark Zuckerberg's dream might be brimming with polished interfaces and expansive virtual spaces, the defense sector has a more focused vision to leverage the metaverse in life and death scenarios. Take Red 6, for instance, They've blended augmented reality, AI, and video game graphics to enable fighter pilots to spar with virtual adversaries in real time within real skies. As these pilots dance around the clouds, they can square off against digital recreations of advanced Chinese and Russian jets. Unlike traditional flight simulators, this fusion of reality and virtuality provides a more genuine test of a pilot's prowess. It's like a multiplayer video game in the sky, remarked Daniel Robinson, the helm at Red Six. This paradigm shift isn't limited to dogfights. The F-35, one of the most advanced jets of our era, sports a helmet equipped with augmented reality. This allows pilots to receive telemetry data and target information superimposed over real-time visuals. Further, Microsoft's HoloLens system is being adapted for combat scenarios, allowing soldiers to receive invaluable information overlaid on their field of view. The applications stretch beyond the skies. Sailors now train in virtual environments, navigating virtual vessels, and collaborating on digital decks. The U.S. Air Force teaches new recruits to handle intricate aircraft systems using VR, and even trauma and chronic pain treatments for veterans are exploring the healing potential of virtual realms. Beyond individual training modules, there's a move towards creating more integrated, expansive virtual worlds. In a recent conference, participants from the U.S. to Japan congregated in a singular virtual space. It's a complex endeavor, creating virtual environments that can accommodate thousands of players, both human and AI controlled. Yet, the challenge is welcomed by companies like Improbable, driven by the promise of integrating various technologies. Palmer Lucky, Oculus's founder, believes the military's dive into the metaverse has been inspired by the civilian sector's enthusiasm. His defense company, Anduril, aims to harness VR for specific, practical training scenarios, such as operating drones or interpreting data from field sensors. Yet, Lucky underscores the importance of being selective, using tech only when it distinctively outperforms traditional methods. This union of the virtual and real isn't without its challenges. A recent report suggested soldiers may not readily adopt tech like Microsoft's IVAS due to its complexity. Yet, military insiders remain optimistic, seeing both the immediate and long-term potential. Doug Philippone of Palantir articulates the sentiment best. It's not just about fighting, it's about making decisions. The metaverse, in all its digital grandeur, offers a new dimension of military strategy and action. However, the journey towards integrating metaverse tools into military operations is just the beginning. As Sorin Adam Matei, a Purdue University professor, aptly puts it, while the metaverse metaphor is potent, its limitations need careful consideration. 
The balance between the real and the virtual, after all, can be delicate, especially when lives are on the line.